What up everybody, welcome back to another video. I go by the Lhasa Entrepreneur. Find your way to this channel. We'll talk about t-shirt business, starting it up. We do a little bit of DoorDash and a couple of other things. We just an entrepreneur. But this week's video, you see behind me, right, right, see that right there? We gonna go ahead, touch, touch back on the Tussie Heat Press, basically, uh, do a little retouch on it for whoever don't know about the Tussie Heat Press. Got it on Amazon for under $200. So we're going to go ahead, review it, check it out. Had it almost a year and a half, two years now, right after the intro. Let's get it. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Check it out. Check it out. I ain't even playing, but Tessie Heat Press, what do I think of it? Had it for almost two years, year and a half, somewhere around there. Haven't, honestly, I lost track because I've just been working with it, practicing with it. My recommendation, should you get it? And uh, is it a good investment? So let's go ahead, honestly, we're gonna go ahead and just check out this Tessie Heat Press. But, Let's go ahead and see, my guys. Yeah, buddy. As you can see over here, bring it out just a tad bit. Bring it out just a tad bit. And Mike, I might need to get a new stick. I might need to get a new shirt. It's starting to peel off. But this is what I got. Tussie heat press, as you can see right there. Has his little handle had to screw this on there's a couple screws back here basically that's all that really needed to be done it came in the box as whole this was all connected and let's go ahead and take you guys over here like i said i got this for under 200 dollars. i believe it was 179 and shout out to cosmos graphics we just did a live the other day he said he's seen it online for 149 on amazon and do I recommend this for a t-shirt business? Depends on if you uh, are just getting started, uh, how much funds you have. Could you buy a better heat press? Because I do recommend buying a better heat press if you could afford it. But just getting started and trying to learn and get the craft, I think it's a good, decent heat press. It has a switch over here. And that's basically how you power it on and off. You'll power it on, timer automatically cuts on. If you want to just cut that off, you just hit that enter button and basically it just shows you the heat that it's on. From there, I know everybody don't know how to change the thing. You'll just go ahead and hit OK. That would then take you to the temperature you're going to be reaching on. If you would like to go up or down, you clearly just hit up or down couple times you can go up to that go down now let's say you have a long way to go hold on to it and it'll shoot up there a lot quicker goes down as well and it's better than just clicking but it'll get you to the right temperature that you like I had it on 290 that's is what we're gonna leave it on now you go from there hit enter if you would like to change now the timing of it, we would hit OK. See that P1? It's going to go back to the temperature you just chose. We're going to hit that one more time, guys. There you go. P2. Then you now see the time. 15 seconds. When you first turn it on, your heat press is going to be something different. But you can also change the timer. Up, down, up, down, whichever you like. And from there, you'll hit 16 seconds, hit enter, and it goes from there. Now, let me set you guys down and we'll pop this bad boy open. It is not a clam shell or clam clothes. It is just a, I believe, it just, it just closes like that and kind of open comes with the handle now 
I do have a heat press gun. So when this does heat up, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. And let me show you guys this, but basically, let's say you have your shirt under there. When you go to press it, you'll see over here. Let's show you guys. See that timer, how it's showing how it heats up? It automatically starts counting down as soon as you close it. It will start counting down. And once it's done counting down, then you're going to hear a sound. That's how you know it's done. You're going to hear that beep. Once you hear that beep, you'll then lift it up. Now, you guys are seeing real time how long it's going to take to heat up to about 290. It's been uh, about a minute or so. And we're going to let that heat up. And I'm going to continue showing you guys parts of the Tussie heat press. So, also comes with this mat right here. Now, if you guys can afford a swing away or some other type of heat press, a better one, uh, I recommend it. This one is a good starter, good to get out, practice on, and I will be upgrading soon. Hopefully I can find a deal, something, and give me a nice swing away so I can start my business and create the quality that I want because going online, I want to actively hit the mark each time. And I can do this with this heat press, but it's just a lot more work and having a better heat press just makes it easier. But this mat, it comes with it. Do I like it? It slides off. I seen people put Velcro on the bottom right here. And I don't know. I haven't put Velcro yet, but it does slide off. Usually I slide off the shirt or I slide that mat off. And I got a shirt right here. This allows me to kind of put it on there and move it around, do what I want. As you guys can see, you know, I don't know. The mat kind of gets in the way sometimes, as you can see, trying to pull it off, but we're gonna go ahead, lay this shirt down. This is a small Bella Canva. Bella Canva, as you can see. Tessie heat press. Now, I've had it for a year and a half, and honestly, it hasn't broke down on me. It's been good. Anytime I needed to do something, it's done what I needed to do. And yeah, no complaints on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find that heat gun. I got it sitting around here somewhere. Bring you guys up there. And I do got my heat gun now. We do got that. It says it's reading 294. It goes up and down. Uh, let's see if it shows you guys. If it's even gonna change. See, so it went down one. But it goes up and down often. And yeah, we're gonna see what it actually reads. Now this is on Amazon, 149 had it for a year and a half. Somebody told me six inches away. So we're gonna go ahead and do a six inches. And it's reading 299. And we have it at 290. That's reading 295 over there. And that's reading 295 on the outside. See if you guys can see that, 304, 294, and like I said, I am about almost a hand left away. 
I want to bring it back. Maybe that would show us anything. Still reading 299. So, yeah, bring it closer. People reading 204, 304, if I bring it closer. But this is about the area. They said about five to six inches. So it says it's reading 299. My heat press says 290. So does it read accurate? No. This is why a good heat press is usually recommended. But if you are just getting started and you can't afford a good heat press, then why not just go for it? Get started. Start doing what you need to do. Get your practice in. And then when you make a little money and you actually get your work in and you get your practice in, then you can buy a heat press and invest in yourself again. But you don't need a expensive heat press to get started. It is recommended so it makes the experience easier and you're used to a good quality product but this actually works we're gonna go ahead and let's let roll this shirt real quick and we're gonna go ahead and press something but clam right there you guys see the heat press when you guys do get it this now knob right here is for the pressure you can turn it left turn it right and it uh, decrease the pressure increase the pressure and do it to what you like now as you see it made the shirt flat I have my pressure pretty high show you guys what I mean by turning the knob so if I bring you guys up here Right here, you can do it only when it's lifted, not when it's closed, because that's when it's clamped. But it'll loosen, you turn right. Or loosen left. Yeah, loosen left, because you're turning left like this, loosen left, and tighten right. So in order to tell the difference, basically, kind of keep closing it. You'll be able to tell if it's loose. As you can see, it's getting easier. Now we want it a little tight. So we're going to go ahead and turn it right there. See that resistance? We can barely close it. It's a little too tight. Now, it does hurt your hand turning the thing because it's a little hard. But we got the pressure right there to exactly where we want it. It just closes super color. We're going to go ahead and press this. Show you guys how to press it. Shout out Cosmos Graphics again. Said that I perfect super color. Yeah, I learned how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and press it now. And one thing I did learn, it's kind of easier if you do a cold peel. Somebody told me to do that on a uh, thing because they do recommend it as a hot peel, but you could do it as a cold peel as well. Just uh, do it a little slower. Now this process, as you see, is not taking me too long. I'm just throwing the shirt on there. Honestly, I don't, not trying to do that. But one thing, if you guys want to go on Amazon as well and you're not good at lining up shirts, you can buy these. Cosmos graphics had better one. You can see online they have different ones. This one's cheap. Don't matter which one you honestly get. I recommend the heat resistant ones. Don't. But these work. So you can do it like that. You see that's an adult. But we're going to go ahead and do it right about there. I like doing it a little bit higher. And we're going to do it right about there. Then again. We're going to go a little bit higher on the heat. So we're going to hit OK. Go to two degrees. Hotter. Hit enter. All right, we're reading 292. So we're going to go ahead and press this. And
let's get it. I got it on there for 16 seconds. All right, guys, it is just a hot peel. And we're going to go ahead and just peel it off. Just like that. Bada bang. Comes right off. Hit it with a second press. You'll get it. Now let's go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Just went right on there. And I would wear it, but I can't wear a small. Can't wear a small, but you guys can see that is it. Super color. And Tussie Heat Press can press super color. You can press anything basically, sublimation, DTF, anything you need, it can press. So, do I recommend it? Yes. Is it a good heat press? It's decent, not the best. Are there better ones? Yes. Does it read accurate? No. That's why you need one of these. And this will definitely help you out. So, make investments. Make sure you know the product. If you guys do want to pick this up, you can just to get started. It's not going to be the best out there, but it will do the job. You just have to get started. But, till next week, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Tussie Heat Press out.